Hey, look what I got here. Another box. And let's see what's inside. And they really wrapped this thing up pretty good. And it's inside another bag that's sealed. Pretty good. And here it is. Let me zoom in there. And this is the Ham Geek. Model MT1129. This is a low noise amplifier. And the frequency range is from 100 kilohertz up to 6 gigahertz. I pay a total of $19.05 from eBay. Okay, so there's a low noise amplifier. Uh, this has a built-in, uh, I believe it's a 300 milliamp hour battery. I don't remember the specs on the battery. There is a battery here built in. And the reason why I bought this is because I want to use it with a couple of my radios. For example, this one, I want to use them with the donor antenna. So this is going to go in between. Of course, I have to charge this first. And so this is an amplifier. So it's going to be able to boost signals like for this uh, donut, you know, my donut antennas and so on. Uh, for radios like this one. And also the SI4732 mini radio. And also the Malahit. So this is a low noise amplifier. And again, let me zoom in there. Okay. So you see right there, USB-C. That is to charge the battery. So you don't need, this doesn't use an external source. So I can be able to go outside and, you know, just turn on the amplifier. There's an on-off switch right there, a little micro switch. Okay, I don't know this one's already charged, but, you know, I'm not going to test it today. And I, I mean, and, you know, I will do reception uh, videos on it and all that. So basically, I'll show you real quickly how you connect this. Uh, let's just start with this one. Let me zoom out there. Let's just do this right here. So again, I don't even know this is fully charged. I don't think it is, but, you know. So, of course, this goes, the antenna goes into the in, RF in. So this can be a little tricky here to do this. Okay. And basically, like that. But I like to have, I like to have everything facing toward me. So, I'm just going to do some adjustments here. And then this part is going to go to the radio. Like this, and you have to be careful here because now we're putting you know, but too much stress on the uh, connector. But the radio, like this one here, the uh, TF6686, has a couple of screws on it, so this connect as well. And there you go. So you see, so now you got your known as amplifier. Uh, let me turn it on, see if there's uh, any power. I don't think there is, but I could try it. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the radio. Again, I don't know if it's, uh, there's any power in it or not, but we'll find out. So this is 1520, of course. First I have to do here. And let me tune this up here. Right now, I'm going to, it's off, right? Yeah, it's off. Okay. Uh, let me pick another section. It's too early for 1520. Let's try, uh... I'll try something like, uh, I know which station I can try. Maybe 1110. I'll switch it on low. But also, I don't know if there's a pass-through, actually. Let me see. Uh, okay, yeah. So it is, uh, it is charged up. So let me just go down to, uh... There you go. Okay. So it is working. So right now, for example, 970 the answer. Uh, let me uh, put the uh, focus in there. 970 the answer. You see the signal right there? Uh, I turn on the... Uh, so there is there is some power in, in the battery right now. Uh, you turn it on. You see boost the signal. Okay. So it is working. And there you go. Okay, so there's a low noise amplifier. And, and how people 
And again, I paid a total of nineteen dollars and five cents. Um, they do have this on AliExpress also. Um, I'm gonna check to see if they may have this on Amazon. I don't know if they have this one on Amazon or some equivalent to it. But the reason why I got this one is because this one. Let me load over. I'm sorry about that. Actually, let me turn it off. And the reason why I got this one was because this one has a built-in rechargeable battery, so I can take this outside. And don't I don't need an external power source on it, okay? So there you go. So this is the Ham Geek model MT1129 low noise amplifier. Again, frequency ranges from 100 kilohertz up to 6 gigahertz. So I will plan, I'm gonna be using this on all my antennas. This is comparisons on my donut antennas. And again, I bought this because I wanted to use it for this radio. And for this radio. And also, uh, if you have a Mala hit, which I do have a, a, a you know, a version one Mala hit. Or if you have the Belka, uh, Belka DX radio or the ATS 20 low noise amplifier. And it looks like it's working great. So there you go. If you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like content like this, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.